Hello and welcome to this review of Carlo Rossi Merlot. Oh, this big 4,000 milliliter bottle. That's right, 4,000 milliliters. It cost me $12.87 plus tax at Walmart. I had it in the fridge. I was reading. They said Merlot is better served chilled, so I chilled it. Well, actually, that was a controversy on the internet. Some people say, you're cuckoo, it's better at room temperature. And then somebody else said, yeah, if you, if you live in uh, the northern climate, you know, the northern latitudes where it's 55 degrees in your house. All right, well, anyway, whatever. Regardless, um, I've never had this. I had the Cabernet Sauvignon from Carlo Rossi, and I thought it was a little too chewy, a little too meaty, a little too much for my flavor. I think the blush will be even better for what I like. Okay, when was Carlo Rossi introduced? Well, twice. <laughs> if you look at their website, it says, uh, this is an Ernest and Julio Gallo brand. They say, well, we introduced it in 1962, Carlo Rossi Red Mountain wine. And then the formal introduction, I guess nationwide, for the whole line was 1975. You can get smaller bottles, but this is the one we get around here typically the 4,000 milliliter bottle. <laughs> I'm looking at the website over there. Uh, it says, bright with rich berry flavors from delicious California grapes. Guaranteed to be a hit at any party. It's medium body fruit flavors go well with meat, fish, and pasta. And then their suggested recipe for this is mulled wine. They got a lot of different recipes on the website. It's one of those user-friendly websites, and their, their general message is, it's a good time wine, relax, have a good time, drink this California wine, don't be too uptight about it. Okay, um, same thing with their Facebook page. Got some alcohol legs on it, guys. It's uh, very red, purplish red, you know, like a reddish violet. Looks nice. Um, let's see. I don't want to lift this up again. Now, it took me a month to drink the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's going to take me about a month on this. 12% alcohol, Modesto, California. Carlo Rossi was a salesman for Ernest and Julio Gallo. He was married into the family. And so they, they started this line of wines after Charles Carlo Rossi, who lived into his 90s. And you might remember his old television commercials. Okay, so it looks pretty nice. Mellow laid back Merlot. Smells like Merlot, grape skins. Uh, kind of robust red wine aroma. Nothing too uh, pronounced, but nothing bad. Boy, it's got some alcohol legs on it. 12%. That's the higher edge of table wine. You can go up to 14.0 being a table wine, according to the United States Tax and Trade Bureau. You go above 14.0, now you're a dessert wine. And in some states, that is sold as a liquor or a spirit. cannot be sold as wine in some states. And then wines below 7.0 are not even under the control of the Tax and Trade Bureau. They're the Food and Drug Administration. They're more like a food wine. We you don't see those too much. Very heavy in the grape skins. Tannins. If you want a drier wine with a strong tanning component, which may or may not appeal to you, this could work. Oh yeah, I could drink a, a glass like this every day. You know, about three quarters up or two thirds up the glass. That would be my juice for the day. I wouldn't drink a lot of this stuff. Uh, I remember back in the 70s, my grandmother and my mother, so my mother and her mother would get a jug of this stuff and drink it, watch TV and talk, you know, whatever. And my father was like, I remember they used to do that. They would drink too much of it. I mean, not go crazy, but they would just, they were like big into the wine culture, especially the value approachable price wine culture. Um, hmm. Alright, I've got some uh, a cracker with some uh, Country Castle 
Limburger cheese and some spiced ham on there. Okay. And I put some Yamasa soy sauce on it. This Hormel spiced ham, this sp ham, sp ham, spiced ham, spam, spam. Mm -hmm. Adds a nice little offset to it. I'd recommend it for 1287, a 4,000 milliliter jug. Yeah, I'd recommend it. So, hey, you know what? I like talking about Carlo Rossi Merlot, but <laughs> I'd rather drink it.